Hey guys, so welcome in this new video. In this video I'm going to teach you how to install RPCS3 on your Linux computer. RPCS3 is a PS3 emulator, but I guess you already know that if you're watching this tutorial. So let's begin. You just open your browser of choice, you type in RPCS3, you go to their official website, which is this one. Then you click download. And then right here, you can choose between Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Obviously, you're on Linux, so you're going to click Download. And this is going to install, as you can see, an app image file, which is like an executable. Okay, like imagine an .exe file for Windows. They're not the same, but you can just double click it and execute it. And that's it. I'm not going to install it because I already installed it. I have it already in the downloads, as you can see. And once you're done with the download, you can double click it and as you can see it opens up it checks for update and i had an update yesterday so i just updated it and it did everything by itself and now it's updated so every couple days an update comes out and what you have to install now is the firmware for the ps3 so what you have to search now is ps3 firmware download i will obviously give these those link in the description then you have to scroll down, choose update using a computer, then you click download PS3 update. Okay, so I had to do some manual shit. I'm on ungoogled Chromium right now. If I click download PS3 update, it doesn't do anything. But if I click copy address link and then I paste it, it downloads. Now I've already installed it, but I'm going to install it again just to show you. So you install it, you click save, you click keep. Then you just drag this file here. I have already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. But you just drag it here. You click confirm. Then RPCS3 will install the firmware for the PS3 version. And then all you're missing is a game. Now, how do you get games? You basically have two options. One, you have a physical disk of the game and you dump it by following the instructions in this site or you can do the easier way which is installing it from the internet which you should probably have the original copy of the game but it is what it is right like you can just search for whatever game like gta 5 ps3 rom and you should find some sites where they will give you the rom and one of the most popular is vim.net but sadly, the GTA 5 ROM has been removed from this site. As you can see. I would say most of the games are still available on this Vim.net. This is a great site. But at the same time, some of them have been recently removed. And that's kind of sad. But you can find the ROM on other sites. Or as I've already told you, you can just have the physical copy of the game and then you dump it. Then once you have the files installed, then once you have the files installed, you can just drag them inside their PCS3. As you can see, you can just drag them and he will find them automatically and add them automatically to their list. Then you can pretty much play them all if you have a strong enough PC. I'm not going to go into the configuration side of RPCS3 in this video because it depends a lot on game to game. So if you have a specific game that you want to play, you may just search for that specific game name plus RPCS3 configurations. Okay, you may just look for tutorials on YouTube about that specific game, how to configure it, or you can just do it yourself. And once you've configured your game, you can just double click it. And it will boot. Okay, so I'm basically recording this later because the recording that I've made was very laggy, apparently, so I used another program, I was using OBS before, I used another program, and the recording now is smooth, 60 FPS, so you can see that the game runs well, we okay, this game particularly doesn't run online. well, it runs like a 40 FPS, but you can still see that it's a smooth experience, and way smoother than the PS3, so this is just a showcase of a couple of games. I'm going also to showcase GTA 5 later. So yeah, that's about it. Mining base forces are greater than expected. 
expected. The advanced force this also was a game that I was so scared of playing when I was a kid. But I played it anyway. Scared the, the shit out of me. Out in force. It'll be a tough fight. Make sure you come back. Not speed. So as you can see, we're now playing GTA 5 and I'm going to show you the FPS. I've enabled the 60 FPS mode for GTA 5 and it runs pretty smooth if you have a strong CPU. Now, in my new computer, I have an i7 14700K and an RTX 4060. So I can run this game at max resolution. I mean, I can run this game at 60 FPS with my older computer, with an i3 9th gen, I was able to hit 7 FPS with the same settings. So yeah, CPU matters a lot. Also, you need to have a good cooler if you want to emulate GTA 5 because your CPU will get heated. And also, if you really want to emulate GTA 5 and you don't have a strong computer, I suggest you to emulate the Xbox 360 version of GTA 5 because for some reason it's more lightweight, so you will get more FPS. <laughs> Alright, we can do this! <laughs> Show me the money! Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. We're just taking the non-sequential notes. Oh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. Depends on how you look at it. So yeah, this is everything that I had to say for this video. If you like the tutorial, like and subscribe, maybe share, maybe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next video.